Hi everybody, it's Christine from Treasure Goddess Yarn and I'm here with another day of my virtual yarn tour, bringing you all the information I would have been sharing with you at all of our fiber shows which have been canceled this spring. So today we're going to talk about log cabin knitting, which is a really fun and easy technique, but also great way to use up some of your leftover sock yarn bits or your mini skeins, which you know we've all got a little bit of that hanging out in the stash. So this that I'm wearing right now is called the Cabin Cowl. And it is an amazing, fun little pattern that's normally $5 for sale on Ravelry, but until the March 31st, 2020, it's free to all of you. So just go to Ravelry, search for Treasure Goddess, all one word, and that should pull up all of my patterns. They're all free to the end of March to help out with everybody being stuck at home with all of this coronavirus business. So the cabin cowl is really fun because depending on what colors you put together, like today I'm wearing green, so I've got my orange and my lime green showing, if I was wearing more pinks, I could flip it around to the pinks and blues, and it just gives a whole other um, look. I think it's amazing, it's fun, it's super easy, and the cool thing is you're actually creating it in four little squares. So it's kind of like a modern age version of the log cabin quilt. So you start with a little square in the middle, we work this direction for a while, then we bind off, pick up stitches, and we work this direction, and then this direction, and we work along the way. It's super fun. Um, there's techniques are all described in the pattern as well. So then you just make four squares and you whip stitch them together. And what's really a good idea on this is go stash diving, find out all those little mini skeins or leftover bits from your socks. But um, to keep it looking less yarn barf and more um, creatively organized, um, I like to, I, the idea of using one color to kind of throughout. So like right here, I've got the silver. This is my pieces of eight yarn. Um, so my pieces of eight kind of comes through the silver is kind of like on each little square and that way it gives it a little bit of a tied together look. Um, I also decided to edge one end in a single crochet just to have a nice little edging. Um, I got tired of it so I didn't do the other side and half the time I wear it folded in. Anyway, so along with this idea of a small little project using of your sock yarn bits, why not go stash diving and pull out all of your leftover sock yarn and start pinning it together in an idea in a big project. So another idea I have for you, um, I, this one's actually a pattern that's free all the time on Ravelry. It's called, let me see, uh, it's one of my designs, it's called the Itty Bitty Sock Yarn Bits Blanket, I'm pretty sure. So this was actually a sock yarn blanket I made with all kinds of leftovers. It, through the years. It started out as just a little tiny baby blanket and then I decided I'm not giving that away to a baby. I'm keeping it for me. So I made it another little triangle, rectangle, not triangle, rectangle, and another little rectangle. So I actually made four rectangles of colors of all different kind of mismatched leftovers and then I seamed them together by a three needle bind off because oh I hate seaming. So anything that keeps me from having to whip stitch stuff together um, or do a mattress seam for that big of a deal. But how amazing and fun is this? And talk about Netflix and chill kind of knitting. This is nice, mindless. You just get the concept. Oh my gosh, I think I was showing you the back side. <laughs> Let's try again. Look at how beautiful the right side is. Um, and though it's hard to tell, you always try to change uh, colors and pick up stitches on the right side when um, the same side when you're using uh, garter stitch, which is knitting both sides. Otherwise you get a little ridge. So back side, it's actually really hard to tell, back side, right side. Um, but it's a beautiful, fun, warm idea. Something to get your creative juices flowing, try to figure out which colors look good together, which ones don't look good together. And also, it's nice and warm so you can snuggle up on the couch and Netflix and knit. In fact, a lot of times I have this on my lap, a sock yarn blanket on my lap and a sock yarn project in my hands and I am all kinds of comfortable and warm and happy and usually the dog's on my feet as well. So anyway, um, hang in there, my friends. We're gonna get through this craziness of being homebound. Use it as an opportunity, at least carve out a little bit of time just for you. Um, do some stash diving, pull things out and say, what could these things become together? Maybe you don't feel like taking on a whole blanket project. Maybe you wanna make a scarf. Maybe you wanna make a cowl. Um, just throw these little things together. If you're not a knitter, do some crochet, do some beading, do some coloring book, do some crosswords, do something where your mind is focused on something other than all of the stress out there. Um, and feel free to comment or DM me or whatever and let's communicate and we'll get each other through all of this crazy time. So 
I think, as I said before, instead of road tripping across the Midwest with my trailer crammed full of yarn and all of these projects to show you, we're gonna do it virtual style. So um, subscribe to Treasure Goddess Yarn on YouTube. Check me out on Instagram, Treasure Goddess. And again, all of my patterns on Ravelry.com are free through March 31st. So enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet amidst all of this craziness. So hugs, virtual hugs, virtual knitting. Again, I'm Treasure Goddess Christine, and I'll see you soon on my next day of the virtual yarn tour, yarn show, excuse me. Bye-bye.